Greetings, dear friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We continue our meditative service, gathering monthly in the circle for Jerusalem meditation. Thank you for your presence and consistent will to service. Over to you, Uta. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Jerusalem meditation, which is an experiment, ongoing experiment of uh, working with a specific energy, which we identify as flowing through the vortex of Jerusalem, and which we can be instrumental for it to be expressed locally and globally. And we remember that each location has its specific energy, its specific contribution to make on this earth. And Jerusalem, from ancient days and also through the yearning and attention that it receives from so many people worldwide has a has a special relation to the spirit of peace. It's the city of peace, as we said many times. And we also perceive this vortex as a golden energy. Jerusalem of gold, it is called in the Hebrew culture. <clears throat> So in our experience, subjective experience over many years, this golden energy expresses as a peculiar blend of love and will, which we have come to call the will to love. So in this experiment, ongoing lab, we are learning to wield this will to love to work with it like you work with a raw material a substance which can be collected and molded and channeled And perhaps we could say that this is the raw material out of which right relations are built. Golden threads that unite us. So to, today <clears throat> in meditation, we will do the same steps as last time. First being receptive to this energy and then visualizing it anchor in the earth beneath the city, having this vertical alignment, antakana of sorts, and then distributing it first locally and then globally. And at the end, again, we'll anchor the energy into the earth grid, each one wherever we find ourselves around the planet. So let us now turn our awareness to Jerusalem. And Efrat will give us some grounding, some report of the current happenings, of some of the current happenings. Over to you, Efrat. Hi, good evening to you from Jerusalem. Uh, first of all, I would like to mention that uh, tonight is the evening of the Memorial Day for the Holocaust. So this fact by itself brings a special atmosphere 
heavy, tense, lot of pain. In, and in this year, it's uh, it's different because uh, no different, but more complex because of the situation we are in, uh, with all the tension and and the revolution of the justice system and but and the demonstration. But um, I would like tonight to bring a different point of view and to emphasize the, the light point or the optimistic point as I and other people here in Israel sees it. Um, first of all, um, the, it seems like a new entity, a new uh, power raised now. Uh, which uh, uh, we can see in the demonstration, uh, hundreds of, and thousands of people, and it's not anymore right and left, uh, Jewish and Arab, secular and religious. It's a common liberal, democrat, justice force, uh, which is very, very strong and raise up and uh, more and more people are aware to this uh, fact, and uh, it brings a lot of hope. Uh, it changed everything, and it's uh, it's here to stay. And uh, nothing will be the same. And really looking forward to see the good that will raise in from the new structure. Uh, one example that I will share briefly is uh, that one of the people who spoke last Saturday in the big demonstration in Tel Aviv, uh, in the past he was, uh, he belonged to the more extreme violent right uh, group, uh, which uh, was also connected to a football group, but uh, uh, it's, it's called the Familia which means uh, kind of, uh, well, I leave it aside. Anyway, uh, this man uh, brought his story and he said that what make him feel at home in this group, La Familia, the common uh, idea that they had, it's the, hate, the hatred to the Arab. They were and, and were beaten Arab and, and were very violent. And this is what united them. Um, today, it united them to <laughs> bring this violence to the demonstration. And, and they say that uh, in the year of in the years of twenty something, uh, he start working in a mifal. How do you say? In a factory. Factory with Arab young people. And they start knowing them as sub as subject subjective people uh, who have name and stories and family. Uh, and in this year, his wife divorced him because she couldn't stand the violence against the Arab. So he made a shift of 120 and 80 degrees. And now he is uh, he goes through schools and he's an educator and bring this message to the young people uh, that hatred can take us nowhere and that the Arab population is part of Israel. So this is another point of light that comes out now. Thank you. Indeed. Indeed, this new force is this something full of hope? Yeah, let's take it into meditation. So let us enter into our inner silence.
Taking a moment to connect with our body, sitting well in it. And through it, opening to the earth energies. To the loving embrace of the mother of the world. Just taking a moment to rest and breathe. And as the soul that we are, let our light shine through our outer form. Coming together now in our outpost in the aura of Jerusalem. Consciously entering this space, this place of harmonious order. Our hearts swing into resonance. from heart to heart to heart. And our minds weave a telepathic field. Taking a moment, trying to pick up the thoughts one of the other, bringing our thoughts into synchrony. Standing together, soul to soul. And as a focal point in Jerusalem, let us link consciously with the many other groups around the planet Being aware that we are part of a planetary network, which is the Ajna center of the planet. Opening ourselves now to our higher co co-workers in the ashramic world. Opening our hearts and our minds. Establishing a stable resonance. We invoke their cooperation in this work and realize that it is there. So we take up now our function as an outpost, a light station within the aura of Jerusalem at the midway point between the higher world and Jerusalem below.
and we tune our hearts and minds upwards beyond the outer turmoil to the very high note that is overlighting Jerusalem, the spirit of peace. We take a few moments in silent receptivity, filling ourselves with this high energy, releasing all else. Gently refocusing in our outpost now at the midway point. And collecting the high vibration into our group field. Let us hold it with our deep heart between the shoulder blades, 
where heart and will unite. Molding it into the will to love. Holding it for another moment at a point of tension. Letting it ripen. And now let us release it downwards into the earth beneath the city. See it anchoring in the earth grid. Visualize the will to love stream into the city, becoming available now to the consciousness of the citizens. See it especially fortifying and protecting those of this new force that stands for justice, and equality and brotherhood between all citizens. See, it strengthen this force the will to love and from them see it stream further to all citizens gradually entering and conditioning their consciousness raising it from separation consciousness to unity consciousness. Visualize golden deva builders helping us substantiating this intent, the will to love, orienting, unifying, making whole. The souls of all are one and we are one with them. We seek to love, not hate. We seek to serve and not exact due service. We seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the time. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate 
and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all humans love. Let the spirit of peace be spread abroad. Visualize a golden unifying wave spread out from Jerusalem into Israel-Palestine. making hearts golden, lifting minds into unity consciousness. See the golden wave spread into the nations of the Middle East, unifying and reordering Let's take a minute to stay with all these new peace initiatives between different Arab nations. And expanding eastwards, visualize a golden band connecting Jerusalem with Darjeeling. And tracing the band further from Darjeeling to Tokyo. And from there to New York. To London. And Geneva. And back to Jerusalem. Visualize the unifying wave continue to flow throughout the etheric body of the planet, uniting us all. And gently focusing now our consciousness fully back into our own physical location on the earth and grounding there the golden unifying energy right where we are. And we affirm our work with the great invocation, sounding it in Hebrew, Arabic, and English.
מנקודת האור אשר בדעת אל, זרום האור אל דעת האדם, ירד האור על פני האדמה. מנקודת האהבה אשר בלב האל, תזרום האהבה אל לבבות אנוש. ישוב מורה עולם על פני האדמה. מן המרכז שבו נודע רצון האל, תנחה תכלית את רצונות אדם, תכלית אותה מורי האנושות יודעים ומשרתים. מן המרכז אשר נקרא המין האנושי, תוגשם תוכנית האהבה והאור, ויחתם הפתח אל הרע. יהי רצון. ויחדשו אור, אהבה ועוצמה, את התוכנית על פני האדמה. מן נוקטת אל נור פלרע אל אלהי, ליושע אל נור פעוגול אל נאס, וליהבת אל נור אל אל ארד. מן נוקטת אל חוב פלאל בל אלהי, ליתסרב אל חוב לקולוב אל נאס, וליארג'ע סייד אל אתי לאלארד. מן אל מרכז הלאדי תערף ומן האירדת אללה, לתקוד אל ראיה אירדת אל נאס אל בסיטה. תלכה אל ראיה אולתי ידריכו אל מועלמון ויחדמונה. מן אל מרכז הלאדי נדון בל ג'נס אל באשרי, ליינטג' התסמין אל חוב ואל נור, ויחתם על אלבאב, הלאדי יוקימו בי אל שר. ליוג'ד אל נור ואל חוב ואל קווה, אל תסמין על אלארד. Let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, Let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center, which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power Restore the plan on earth.
So let us share some impressions, whoever would like to. So here's Annette speaking. Um, at first, thank you, Uta, for this powerful and beautiful meditation, and also Efrat for your sharing um, from the ground. Yes, yeah, so I just want to share that in connection with the, in this receptive connection with the spirit of peace, I received such a powerful and dynamic and centering energy and and I was impressed by the power and and strength and I thought wow this peace is so powerful and strong in my perception and not soft and passive as as we think from time to time or sometimes is yes and um and then I thought on this power and strength of the demonstration Efrat um, told us about. And, and I wondered if, if perhaps you can see here an uh, expression of the spirit of peace. This was what I thought about. And, and then this flow of unifying energy was very strong. And, and it was so good also to, to ground it uh, where where I am here in the place I am at the end too. So yes, thank you very much for this powerful and effective meditation. Hi, it's Daisha here from Canada. I echo what Anita just said, very strong sensation of unity and the will uniting in the heart to form the will to love. When we were bringing that golden light right into the city of Jerusalem, I had a, a vision. It, it was like a oh, just a quick series of shots of of not of visual shots of people pausing in the midst of whatever they were doing. A mother caring for her children, someone hanging out the wash, two men sitting beside each other in a cafe, and a head would turn as though they were listening to a far off sound of music or a call. And some people would just shake their heads, but others would turn and smile to the people that were with them. And it just felt like that unifying love really filtering into hearts of people. It's very beautiful. Thank you, Uta.
I had an impression about the, this is Alexander, um, impression about the, that moment of anchoring the energy of the spirit of peace under the city. There's for, for, for a moment there was confusion, where, where is that energy goes, where it's anchors. And then recognition came that it's during the mystery of uh, crucifixion and when we know that Christ went into the under the world or into the dance, the densest levels of the world, whatever we call it, he anchored his energy there, and it that's what's in uh, Christianity called redemption redeeming the matter. And so when we anchor the energy of the spirit of peace, there is this energy of Christ present there. So, and we even can say like physically, because that was the physical location on the planet where that mystery happened. So in a way we have the presence of Christic energy still there. And it's forever there and so when we anchor it we can rely on that presence in the space under the city and in the in the underworld probably overall we can say and that was immediate sense of the energy flowing as soon as that receptive pole for that energy got revealed itself thank you Thank you, Uta, for this meditation. That brings me to a point um, which I think we last last month we spoke about it. Um, perfection brings imperfection to the surface. So this Christic impulse that has been anchored beneath the city. Um, Is, is bringing all that is not yet redeem, redeemed to the surface in this location to be transmuted. Um, and we had this question of what are we doing? What is our work doing? Is it um, we are making making the conflict bigger? putting fire, putting fuel into the fire. And um, I had a few instances now in the meditation where I thought, no, I need to, uh, this needs to be uh, formulated a bit differently. There's this sentence, I don't remember the exact words that came out, but um, something like uh, this, this energy entering the minds and hearts of the of the citizens, and I felt it while I was saying it. I felt it um, too intrusive. Felt it like um, maybe interfere, not 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 honoring enough um, the free will of the of the citizens. So it's it's a question mark uh, to be to be thought through. Um, yeah, definitely something strong, very strong is going on through 
connecting in our consciousness uh, the, the spirit of peace with this Christic seed, light seed underneath. It's an electrical current, as we said some time before ago. Thank this you, is Sister Abby in Hawaii. I'll wait. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Uta, for the meditation. I would like to say something about the spirit of peace. Um, a few times ago, I mentioned that uh, uh, the power, the force, the energy that the demonstration need, needs us needs now it, it's more strong it's more active than, than peace uh, and and i had a an image or feeling of peace like something very quiet and in a way soft but uh, in in the meditation today it came to me a uh, uh, peace commanded uh, peace commanding presence which is energy of peace which uh, it's much stronger it's kind of uh, I think right there you you said once let peace be so uh, the, the spirit of peace is very strong now but in a different uh, way in a different energy Yes, his guide. I had I had the same feeling as you. Uh, let peace be what I heard, and uh, it's uh, really so much uh, will now. The will to peace, uh, not so soft as you said. I too had this uh, this image. So thank you, and the will the peace is anchoring. The spirit of peace is anchoring deep in the earth where Christ uh, went down at, uh, at the crucifixion. Yeah. And there's so much power in it now. And as you mentioned, uh, Uta, we have to honor the free will. Um, we can t give the spirit, uh, connect to the spirit of peace, invoke the spirit of peace, but still have to uh, <coughs> to honor the, the free will. Thank you. This is Kathy in Hawaii. I agree with uh, with both of you the, the about the free will is is critical and I I think the intention that this energy is available to every mind and, and heart uh, would be the correct positioning uh, and so and, and certainly I think that is what I always hold is when I do my work and my energy work is that it's available for the free will choice to participate and be included. Thank you for that sensitivity and bringing that forward. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the same time, not to shrink from what we um, come here to do. It's really 
now needed. You know, in the last while we thought, oh, maybe because there's so much fire in the air now in Jerusalem, maybe maybe we need to do something different or not or to refrain a bit from from this electrical work. But in this meditation I had this sense, wow, this is yeah, this is what is needed now. And um, this new force that uh, Efrat uh, spoke about today can be an anchor point or or um, a recep receiver, receptor, receptacle for this energy. So we have we have a counter force, or I don't know how to say. Uh, um, um, yeah, some some agency that 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 receives it on the ground. Yeah, it's not so clear what I said. <laughs> that needs a bit more clarification. It's actually clear, Uta, and I have the same sense that this. energy that now awaken within the citizens across Israel creates that agency, as you said, to receive and distribute this energy. And it is that will to good within the human family that's so needed at this point everywhere and it is now that it's in israel it is has an expressed form something that we can see and witness and experience for those of us who is on the ground Yes, and um, for me in the meditation, there was a strong presence of that energy. Uh, energy of Christ and uh, this redeeming quality for the matter. And uh, the light that was coming from Jerusalem was had almost like water quality so there were spaces where it would get absorbed and there were spaces when it would not penetrate it would just hit the surface and um, then at this point there was a connection with this um, recognition of the structure of the matter which is not capable of receiving it. And the energy of the spirit of peace comes and uh, creates, a, it's almost like restructuring, but it's a, it's a very slow process and there is strong presence of the, of the moon chain energies, the, the things that were not done and need to be done anew, taking into account the, the need and the price of this debt. So, yeah. But the sense of the country is um, uni like unifying, although it's a strong opposition to something, yet the expression still in building unity, maybe in a very different way than before. Thank you. It was Katya. 
Hi, this is uh, Fat again. I just wanted to mention that in this coming Wednesday, uh, one organization uh, organized a mass meditation, open meditation in Tel Aviv. Uh, they're expecting um, many, many people. And the title of, of this uh, meditation is to to bring the, the heritage of uh, Tehanan uh, Han, which was a justice uh, um, warrior. So uh, we have, I think we have uh, an echo from the ground. Well, this is wonderful. What are the religious people do, doing with this new impulse? Um, many of them join the demonstration. This is what I mean when I say it's, not, it's a new force. Mm -hmm. uh, the, old, uh, the old title doesn't work anymore. Mm -hmm. Uh, the extreme orthodox uh, religious people stay in their uh, isolation. Mm -hmm. but, uh, many, many. There is a group which called the the Tiim Tzionim Demokratim. How do you call it? Religious uh, Zionist and Democrat, a uh, people which is a uh, uh, um, a lot of settler joining this uh, group they live in the we, we have another uh, argument with them but they are going to the demonstration for democracy and equality thank you hi uh, this is joel from uk Regarding our work being necessary, I think with the critical times we're living in and uh, the divine plan needing to work out on earth, we need all the work we can get. And with what Ephrat said about some people turning away from the violence and trying to find different ways, perhaps our work is helping them to do that and maybe it needn't be total conflict to sort things out. Maybe they can turn into a more constructive, peaceful ways of doing things. Thanks. There's several comments from Risa. Uh, that I reposted, I will just read them. The prayer, call in the spirit of peace, let the forces of light bring illumination to mankind, let the spirit of peace be spread abroad. May men of goodwill everywhere meet in the spirit of cooperation. May forgiveness on the part of all be the keynote at this time. Let power attend the efforts of the great ones, so let it be and help us to do our part. A strong presence of love was present in the meditation, the spirit of love itself. The spring of peace raises humanity who have the right attitude. The raising is like the third degree in masonry, raising the master, masonry responding to the cry of humanity. And the last comment, uh, uh, it's to the words of Efrat. An echo from the ground, beautiful words. Thank you, Brisa.
Okay, dear friends, it seems we are complete for today. Thank you for this beautiful cooperation. So, see you on the other side of Vesak, and probably many of us will meet, all of us will meet. <laughs> at least in the subjective, on the Vesak. So many blessings. <laughs>